100,000 views on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Now you know we have to give them a banger because we are just start. And in this video, if you want to know how we did our K1 visa experience, just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy and I'm here with my wife, Shay. Hi, Ray. First of all, we just want to say Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thank you so much for the support, guys. We just made 100,000 views on YouTube. First, we tell them what is a K1 visa, right? Yeah. What is a K1 visa, everybody? We all wonder about that. K1 visa, fiancé visa is the same thing. Really? Okay, a K1 visa is uh, a foreign fiancé that wants to enter the U.S. to marry within 90 days. As simple as that. Alright, so the first step for anybody who wants to apply for a K1 visa, the U.S. citizen sponsor must file form I129F after USCIS approves the petition, it is sent to the NBC and that's where you get your case number. Now, this is a case number by not change none at all. Like it's the matter you use basically to identify you and identify your case. Yes, that's very important. Make sure you write that down in case you ever want to get an update or a status on online or over the phone. Um, they're going to need that number. So hold tight to that number. All right, step two. What you need as a foreign citizen? Now, you need a completed form, DS-160. This is your non-immigrant citizen application. You need a valid passport to travel, very important. Birth certificate, if you are married or divorced, you need death certificate and, you know, the birth, birth papers. You need a medical exam. You need 12 passport size photo. Now, they never tell us you want 12, but based on my experience about that new, um, yeah. Yeah. So better you have it than not have it. You need evidence of your relationship. So make sure that you have multiple um, pictures of the passport. They will tell you two, and then they're gonna request more, and they're gonna request more, and they're gonna request more. You just might as well have printed twelve out just so you have it, so you won't have to go back and print them out anymore. Mm -hmm. um, also, I want like to touch base on make sure you already have your passport to travel. Um, because everything takes time. They want to see that as an identification from the rip. And um, also, if you were married before, um, if you make sure that you're divorced first, because <laughs> you're going to need the divorce papers, or if your spouse did pass away, make sure you have the death certificate available. All these things you can pre-prep um, before you even make your um, application and be careful. Unless COVID lifts, you never know how fast it's going to go. True. So true, baby. Alright, next you need payment of fees. And the uh, U.S citizen must have proof of financial support which is form I-134 as well as form I-864 adjustment of status which comes later on. So um, talk a little bit about the financial support. Um, you can look at that. I think it's below the poverty line that you should make. So let's say if you don't have any kids, it's just you and that person. Um, of course, it's been a couple years. Um, you can look that form up to see what the um, poverty, the under poverty line you must meet. But um, in my case, um, they're talking about U.S. dollars, okay, because this, this is the person, the citizen that has to have this information. Let's say for three people, you have to make at least, you know, $34,000. let us say you make $34,000, dollars $34, they're going to ask you for another support because you just barely touch it. What if you lost your job? What if they're doing all the what if? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you're making at least five, six thousand over that amount. Um, based on your household, let's like say for me and my son, and as him, it would be three, not what I already have. They want you to include that person that you're trying to send over here. Um, so just make sure that you're at that, that household meets your income and another 5000 Hopefully, you're making it back um, to that amount because it's important to make over, not just right at the number that they're asking for. True, and sometimes, so even if them say that you yeah, make the amount, them still want to add a sponsor because it can show that like, you yeah, make more than the amount, but you know, them still want like, a backup just in case. Right, so um, hopefully, you have a committed person as a backup. They may not ask for it, yeah. but if they do, you have it right right there, and, and they're going to ask for that person's tax information. But that's mm -hmm. on part three, yes. Yeah. All right, now part three. Proof of relationship. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> document, 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 document. Document, document, document. Every life. 
by your bar, go right up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here are some tips to we'll recommend. Make sure if your partner comes to visit you, have the plane ticket, copies of that I'll print out. Hotel room reservation receipt. You know, most of the time, spend together. If you know them, pay for you and for them ticket. You know, everybody in the same room. That is a must. You know, sometimes they say the relationship fake, so you have to make sure everything real. Um, dinner receipt. You know, we go together for dinner. Dinner photos, gift receipt. This them send you pay their flowers. Anything at all they send each other for the yeah. elephant. Anything. <laughs> You know, make sure you have that screenshot of text, whether it's iMessage, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, regular call, how many hours on the phone or minutes for. Make sure say that did it. You know what? I said like five minute screenshot. So not after five minutes, like come on. You know, it needs to be long and consistent. Make sure you also um do a periodic table where okay, this is when we first start talking, maybe it's ten text. In the middle of a relationship, can text. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, can text. But you want something consistent, showing that you are talking on a regular basis, just because that's how relationships are. True, true. All right. As we say, yeah. Throughout the relationship, oh, birthday anniversary, you know, I'm not sure to celebrate that. You know, it's a long distance thing, so everything have to do. Birthday card, mm -hmm. card. birthday present receipt, mail, uh, mm -hmm. mail, definitely. Um. Valentine's, Valentine's Christmas, Christmas, any cards that you not to each other. Mm -hmm. Month anniversary, we're gonna celebrate that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also, when you're together, they need photos of you. Photos of you in public. You know what I'm about. You know the tone and the things that are old other people did it because the overall thing what they want to see is real. So you need real people, you need real events, you need real place. You can't just be, oh, here's a photo of us, three, four, five, six pictures where you take. I just it's one in our room, or it's one on the, the one face so where nobody else is there. That's not our room. I mean, <laughs> we, we take selfies all day long, all so time. those are photos, so we use them. Use yeah. Them. And maybe you have to say, oh God, this hot thing becoming a photo, then you're going to take picture of your new picture. Well, it's not very hard for me because we always have take pictures and vlog and stuff, so, you know, and I like, oh, me I take pictures, it's sending as proof because that is what we now they do naturally, so it is easier, but if people want to put a and stuff, you, you need to take photos, this is only natural, yeah. it's proof. <laughs> um, I also want to say, you probably say, oh my gosh, we're in Jamaica, I, I can't. We can't be seen like that. It's illegal and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you're still eating somewhere, and people always take photos of that. I don't care if you get the, the waiter to take the picture or something yeah. like that. You don't have to be all over yeah. that person, but you can just you, know, you can just pose and you know whatever. Yeah. But you need to take pictures, and um, yes, they still want to see that the relationship is real, mm -hmm. regardless if it's you know illegal in that country. But you still will have photos because we're a phenomenal and stuff. So. Get those pictures to share with them guys. And also, what we never did mention to the tour, sometimes they track the social media. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Instagram, the Facebook, the status, whatever. They need to see you and your partner. If that is what it is, it needs to be shown that that is what it is. You know, but, it's, but it's not necessary. Um, it's, it's not necessary because if they look at your status, they didn't see me at all. They didn't know you were with me until. You yeah, so, it's so. not necessary, but um, it can help. It definitely can help. So as long as you have some form of pictures, mm -hmm. you know, and when I say pictures, I don't mean 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm talking about some pictures. pictures because pictures. it's not a doubt that they will ever question you if you have more than enough pictures. Right. All right. Another thing, photos with family and friends. Yeah. If it's serious, guess who's gonna know? People you talk to all day. Yep. Yeah, your family and your friends. Sometimes they say maybe you're not close to their family. Well, there must be one family member, the cousin, you know, or the auntie, somebody okay. where they talk to. If that's the case, then. I don't know. No, you're gonna <laughs> have. You hang out with a co somebody's gonna know. Yeah. I mean, you, you, it's not supposed to be a secret, so it's just pretty much a. Uh, Getting yourself out there and mm -hmm. you know, when you love somebody and you want to marry them, right? True, your friends are gonna know, and yes. you may invite them to a dinner or just acclimation because also they're gonna need a, a 
a letter. letter. Mm -hmm. Saying that, hey, I, I have met, you know, this person and we didn't go to lunch or whatever and stuff like that. You really need those witnesses' letters and stuff like that, so why not involve them? Yeah. Every, like, thing that can help you, you make it happen. Because sometimes I'm gonna let them go literally ask the feet, but just because they present it, it helps. Also, um, for the monetary gifts that you may receive or may not, but um, that's important to you because as, as a loved one, you want to make sure that they're okay down there regardless of what happens. So if you have any money gram or um, Western, Western yeah. Union receipt that you sent that person, maybe that helps a lot too. Okay. The next tip, inform about your family. Make sure it is accurate. The parents, date of birth, if they pass, make sure you have that too. Which part they live, which part they grow up, make sure. Your high school, your high school address, phone number, your job, which part you work currently or maybe two years ago. But they need like your current job. That, that helps. True. Information about that, what they do, how long they've been there. They want you to um, even follow the record, what kind of person you is, and all of them things. So, yeah. And people can like, like. <laughs> Alright, next thing. How did you meet? That is the question of the year. When I say, they might ask you that. Um, they might ask you the time, place, who was there, you know. Just the whole thing, like you have to recreate the whole scene and make them know. We did a how did we make video. The amount of time we tell this story. Yeah. So, I'm going to put it in the link. You may can check it out, our story. Who initiate the relationship? That I mean, who run in, you know, who, yeah, make the first move. <laughs> Who proposed? Come on, very strong people. Uh, we are time and place. All of them things there, they need to know. You know? We are tell say, you know, you engage when it happens. We are tell. They need to know what the person they react, who is that person to you, and everything like that. So, yeah. They need to know all of that. So I would say, as a, if you already started a relationship and you didn't document all that, just look in your archives. You we have, you know, iCloud. I don't know if you guys have Google and stuff like that. Google photos. Yeah. yeah. Store all that stuff. Pick all that stuff up. Mm -hmm. You know, pay to print it out because they're gonna ask for that. That's gonna they're gonna need all of that. And yeah. um, just one hint on the forms, just make sure you fill it out correctly. Um, no nicknames. Make sure you have your real parents name, mm -hmm. the address, where they live, where you grew up, you know, all those information is, is very important. You have to make sure that it's accurate because they're going to check. Cool. They're going to check. They're going to check. And guys, make sure that whatever it is you do, make sure it's real. Because if you do it and it's not real, you better not do it at Don't not do it at all. But we just have given our, our experience and hope it helps. A lot of persons have been requested this video so I know what it could be for a I minute. Mean, but we just get around to it and yeah leave us comments down below we want to hear your feedback guys we have several other parts this is just the first part of it part one part of many one. guys because we have boys and it's a journey, journey. <laughs> um, like she said put your comments down we'll answer your questions if you have and um, we'll address other things on part two mm -hmm. all right so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope it was informative and as you know everything we're going to say in this video or we'll say it in the other one or the other one or the other one yeah <laughs> that's what i say guys thank you so much for watching and happy 2021 all right guys bye